Bill Maher claims Trump could win so easy because of drag queens, but he can't let go of the election. This is a uh, mediate uh, story. Comic and pundit Bill Maher claimed that the former President Trump could win easy because of drag queens, but can't, can't let go of elections. On Friday night edition of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher, the host uh, uh, took a table bit about future headlines that included libraries in Texas to offer impotent gun uh, nut story hour to banter with guests Andrew Sullivan and Katie Herzog about what a drag culture issues like a drag queen story hour are on Democrats. Mar explained that poor Trump could easily win if he could let go of the 2020 because of the drag queens. Do you agree with him? Well, I'm a little upset with Bill, first of all, uh, because he had me on, maligned me as a Russian spy. Now he himself admits there was no Russian collusion, but he won't have me back on. You know why? I'm way funnier than he is. Way funnier. You think you're funnier than Bill Maher? No, no. When you, Easy Roger well, Stone. Well, no, no. When you go to Bill Maher's show, they take you in your dressing room, uh, and his producer comes to you and says, well, great to have you. Please give me one favor. Don't try to be funnier than Bill. I said, Bill's got an entire you know group of writers <laughs> who are cranking out of stuff. Yeah. I'm all by myself. They ask you to do that. Oh, really? yeah, absolutely. No, look, I, I've been on Bill's show several times. Yeah. Uh, and it's always lively and he's entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's not the drag queens are the reason Trump can win. It's gas prices, food shortages, inflation, absolutely. leaving several billion dollars worth of equipment in Afghanistan, shipping $40 billion off to Ukraine when we can't spend the money to uh, seal our own border. Those are the reasons that he can win. The, the 2020 election is kind of tricky. It would be false to say that people are not concerned about it. That doesn't mean it's going to get undone or redone. or uh, That's not realistic. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but voter integrity, the integrity of the roles, that's a legitimate issue. Uh, and I don't think Trump can stop talking about it in that sense. You think he should? Uh, in, in terms of the fact that our next election needs to be honest, fair, and transparent, yes, absolutely. No, no. Do you think he should stop bringing up that there was fraud in the last election? Do you think uh, he, needs, he needs to just it, move on and focus on today's it, issue? It's the precursor to insisting that there be no fraud in the next election. So yeah. I don't think I don't think it should be the raison and d'etre to his candidacy because mm -hmm. politics is not is never about the past. It's always about the future. Let me ask you a question on Bill Maher, because I watch his show religiously or, mm -hmm. you know, you might say religious listly or whatever his, uh, <laughs> you know, thing is. But when you sit down with him, you're not on the panel, typically. Well, the last time I saw you, did the one on one. Yes. The yes. sort of like the pregame yes. uh, to the show. Yes. And it's really almost like. I don't want to say an interrogation, but he's he's coming right at you. And, yeah. and whatever your talking points are, he's going to dismiss them and right. get to his point. Right. So sitting down with Bill Maher. You must have seen how he's sort of, he, what does he famously say these days, uh, Pat? I haven't changed. The Democratic Party has changed. They've moved a little bit far left. Uh, what have you seen him uh, update his opinions? What, what, what's your take on Bill Maher these days? Because a lot of people are basically saying, hey, you know what? This Bill Maher, I never really agreed with him. It's kind of making sense these days. Are you, are you starting to see more of that? Uh, on some issues, I think he's been very consistent, and I agree with him. So, for example, he's always been a critic of radical Muslim. He's always been critical of Islamic terrorism. He's always been pro-cannabis legalization, position I've held for 30 yeah, well, years. He smokes as, joints on the regular. As, as, a, as a libertarian. Um, I do think that he has come around on the hypocrisy of the American left. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of my conservative friends are like, have a new appreciation for Bill Maher. Do you? Uh, yeah, I do. I think he's been. I think he's being honest. Mm -hmm. why, why won't he have you back on? Uh, because he doesn't want to get bested again. Oh, <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Anytime, buddy. I think Bill Maher can handle you, though. A Anytime. <laughs> so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.